The purpose of uh, this little uh, video is to uh, give you uh, some idea on how to implement the Excel spreadsheet for uh, one of our uh, 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 project questions. Okay, now in particular, we'll look at question number three. A uh, program that random, randomly generates integers 1 through 6 with equal probability. Um, I'm not going to do that one right now, but what I will look at is uh, suppose we simulate the role of a normal cubic die, and it's a normal six-sided die, but each dice only has three numbers, and each number is repeated on two faces. So, for exam example, a die red has numbers 1, 5, and 9 on each of two faces. So let me show you how we could uh, set up an Excel spreadsheet that would uh, simulate the rolling of such a die. So we're going to call it here a uh, die red uh, with uh, 1, 5, and 9. 1, 5, and 9. Okay, now, so I'm going to make a, uh, a header right here. Uh, to represent die red. And I'm going to do that by merging these two cells in the spreadsheet. So I click on this and click on that. Then I'm going to go up to uh, Format, Cells, Alignment, and then Merge Cells. Now, the thing is, is I have an old version of Excel uh, for Mac and um, one of the bit of annoying things about Excel, about Microsoft Office, is every time they come out with a, a new version, things get changed a little bit. Okay, now, so there we've merged these. Now I'm going to write in here that this is for uh, die um, red. And then I'll put 1, comma, 5, comma, 9, comma, indicating that that's what we want here. Die red, 1, 5, and 9. Then I'm going to take this, I'm going to center that. So I highlight it, go to my formatting palette, and then um, I look on alignment and spacing, click that, and then I click right here, and... Uh, uh, no, I should click right here. Sorry. There we go. Okay, now. Uh, now let's figure out how we're going to do this. Generate 1, 5, and 9. Well, um, I, want, I actually only want to generate three random numbers. So the way I'm going to generate three random numbers is I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to type uh, at that cell, that cell A1, I'm going to say equals. And then I'm going to do integer, int, and then rand, open, close, and then close. So that will generate the integer. Now, because uh, that is the, if this will represent a, a decimal, and it will just take the integer part of the decimal. But rand generates numbers uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So that integer will always be 0. So what I want to do is take that, multiply by 3. That generates a set of numbers uniformly distributed between 0 and 3. Now if I do that, I have 0 here. Now, but I'm not finished with this statement right in here. See, because I don't want the numbers, well, I can take the numbers 0, 1 and 2 will be the three numbers generated here. So that will be 0, 1, and 2 uh, no matter what. So you see here are some instances. If I just drag that corner down, I generate some instances of uh, the outcome on that die. Now, if the outcome is 0, I, I want to produce a 1. If it's a 1, I want to produce a 5. And if it's a 2, I want to produce a 9. So I'm going to do that with an if statement right here. I'm going to put equals if open paren there. So if 
whatever is in this column, A2, is less than 1, I want the output to be a 1. If it's not less than 1, I want the output to be an, uh, something else. So I put a comma, and then for that something else, I put another if statement. If, open parentheses, A2 is less than uh, 2, I want the output to be a 5, comma, 5, comma, and then something else here, I'm going to put another if statement. If A2 is less than 3, actually, I don't, I don't have to put that. Uh, I can do this just by saying I get a 5, and if not, then I get a 3. This will work. Okay, let's see. So I want to match up my number of parentheses. So I have a left parentheses, a left parentheses, and two right parentheses. Okay, let's see if this works. So I generate a 1. And 1, 3, and 5. Um, now, let's see, I'm getting a all the zeros should have one. That's true. All the ones I want to have three, and I'm getting a five on the ones. And all of the twos I want to have, okay, this isn't right. So I have to figure out what's wrong here. So let me go back up and then look at this um, line right here. What do I? What am I getting right here? If A2 is less than 1, I want the output to be a 1. That's working right. Otherwise, I, the output is going to be whatever I get here. And uh, here I'm saying that, put an if statement, if A2 is less than 2, then I want the output to be, I put a 5. That was my mistake. I want the output, yes, to be a 5. And then here, I want the output not to be a 3, but to be a 9. So let's try that. There. Almost 1, 3, and 5. Still not right. What's it, what, uh, I put, give me, it gave me 3 again here. 1, uh, output's a 1. Output's a 2. Five and then nine. For some reason, it's not uh, doing that correction there. Here, let me try this again. Um. <clears throat> okay. Now let me draw it down. I guess I was doing it right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, do I, well, yeah, I was doing it right. Uh, it's just that I'm uh, stupid. Okay, we got 0 goes to a 1, 1 goes to a 5, 2 goes to a 9. So that works. And you see, I did it by concatenating these if statements right up in here. Okay, now, so here we have our three different outcomes for die red. Now, we can take these and we can extend them all down like this, just go like that, and it extends it all down. So here we have our random uh, generations of values from our die with uh, three numbers on it. So that's how I generate a die with three numbers, right in here. Um, now, uh, and that's here, I'm generating three random numbers, 0, 1, and 2, and I'm converting those random numbers into a 1, 5, or a 9.